I just love the fact that Republicans are complaining about briefs being leaked rather than the fact that women and pregnant people will no longer have rights. I'm excited to share new evidence on the protective power of COVID-19 vaccination for pregnant people and their babies. Certain lawmakers and even the CDC are now pushing the use of the term pregnant people. The debate over the use of the phrase reemerged after the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion revealed justices' plans to overturn abortion rights. What's behind the trend to replace the words women and mothers for parents and people? Let me explain. According to a new study, this change in language is meant to be more inclusive. However, medical researchers argue the use of the gender neutral language can have the opposite effect and leave women feeling alienated. Even some progressives are having a tough time rationalizing the change in terminology. For me, it's not even like, oh, I don't wanna be inclusive and I don't wanna think of you know transgender people. It's the phrasing, like it just makes you sound like a weird object. You're a vessel and nothing more. Doctors at Contemporary OBGYN, a monthly medical publication disagree saying the change in language is necessary. The first is to increase uh, the uh, belief in inclusion and decrease uh, discrimination towards transgender people and specifically in the realm of pregnancy, transgender men. The second purpose though, which I think is equally important is to be able to uh, create more education and learn more about transgender men in pregnancy so that ultimately we can even take care of them better. Some conservatives say they're not buying into the idea. We don't want to offend in our language, I get that. But would you at least admit calling a mom a birthing person could be offensive to some moms? Senator, I'll, I'll go back and take a look at the, the, the terminology that was used and, and I can get back to you. But again, if, we, if we're trying to be precise in, in the language that's used. Mom's a pretty good word. That's, that's worked for a while and I think that's pretty precise as well. So how do you feel about the use of the term pregnant people? Let me know in the comments below.